I'm a ragged rebel soldier And I fought all through the war Lord, I am a ragged rebel Yes, I fought all through the war Them Yankees couldn't kill me Nor the things I was fighting for I fought to save my family, Southern Pines and Whippoorwills. I fought to save my Dixie, my home, my cotton feet. You may not believe me, but things was just that way. And black is nothing other than a darker shade of rebel gray. particular honor for me this evening in light of my fussing this morning maybe. But we have a gentleman with us tonight that I have been waiting to hear for some time. I have heard those of you who have heard him rave about his articulate and intelligent presentation of a subject that we all want to come and a pride we all hold in common. So without any further ado, I would like to introduce John Hightower, Chief of Staff of the Army of Northern Virginia, Turner Ashby Camp, 1567, in Veritable, Virginia, who will make the introduction of our speaker this evening. Thank you, John. Professor Edward C. Smith, historian, author, Lincoln scholar, on the faculties of American University and the Smithsonian Institution, as well as sundry Civil War groups. Please let us give a warm Southern welcome to Professor Ed Smith, Black Confederate. Nation's capital. 
capital, and I wish I could be here much longer, but I must return to Washington tomorrow. And what I would like to do today is something that might seem a little bit impossible, but I'm going to try it anyway, which is to try and discuss the black confederate experience in a much larger American historical context. Because the black confederate's contribution, or the black's contribution to the confederacy, doesn't make any sense to people unless you see it in that larger historical meaning. Because then it's easy for people to write them off as a bunch of Uncle Tom freaks. You cannot imagine how much criticism a person like I receive uh, when I go out and give talks like this. Uh, because people have only come to slowly believe that there were blacks in the Union Army or helped the Union cause as a result of the movie Glory. And of course, when you start talking about blacks being in the Confederate Army or blacks helping the Confederacy as civilians, blacks serving in the Revolutionary War, blacks serving in the War of 1812, they think that you are totally out of your mind. And in a way, I guess maybe they are, and I'd rather be out of my mind than in their mind. <laughs> Here, and I'm not afraid because I feel I'm in the presence of friends. Uh, 